Hello and welcome to another video where you can see Ophelia craft and welcome to my craft room. Earlier we made these cards. It's a set of six cards uh, that I made um, using uh, Wisteria Wonder, So Saffron and Marina Mist. Um, and today we are going to make a box for the cards to go in. So I'll just put these to the side. For the box we need a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. I have went to my local craft uh, store and I got some cream, cream card, quite sturdy, uh, 12 by 12 and you also need um, an A4 piece of paper in the colour that you want to do your card. So we'll put that to the side for now and I'm going to cut my piece of 12 by 12 I'm going to cut it down to 11 by 11. Um, I saw this box made uh, online by another Stamping Up demonstrator called Brandy Cox and she did a really good job and I've been making this box ever since um, and I really like this box to package um, a set of cards in that you can then you know give away as a present. Um, on my envelope punch board I've actually written it in um, permanent ink um, the sizes of this because obviously it's not like an envelope but it needs a little bit of a width so the card holder I've put on here is 11 by 11 and I need to score at 4 and then move my first punch into the 2 so I'm going to score, punch and score Um, it's going to go off the board but that doesn't matter I'll just go as far as I can carefully and I'll work with that later on and then I move along my punch to the valley so that the valley lines up with the two I could line it up here but obviously there's nothing there so that's what I do and I scroll the way down to the other side and then I do the same thing again, just lining up my score lines. Here, obviously, it's not going to uh, line up so easily. So what I tend to do is I just put a little bit of paper along, or my ruler, or whatever I've got handy. There you go. So that's lined up now. It's important that you do this, because the more you line up, the, the straighter your box will be. If it's just a little bit out, it will be skew if. Careful you don't meet the edge. Um, and you can just um, adjust those score, you can just sort of fold those score lines in when you're folding in a moment, so it doesn't really matter that they're not sort of completely done. Right, so I keep going with this. It's quite a thick card, this, so I'm having to push down quite hard. But that's good because it's a box. Okay, so that's what uh, it looks like now. So we've punched and scored. Uh, now I'm going to break all the score lines in. So that means I'll have to add to some. But that's no problem. With your bone fold you just continue along. Fold all the sides. <coughs> There we go, one more side to go. So now we're going to decide which is up and which is down. Uh, it's going to be like this, lengthways. So this one is going to be my down, and this then needs to just be cut in to the next score line. That's that. And then this one here. And that's that. And then these ones at the top, I'm going to get rid of those little tabs because we don't need those. Just cut those out. There we go. Right. So now we're going to turn it over and I'm going to do some stamping. As it's for uh, the butterfly, um, cards. We're going to put the big butterfly there 
And then what I thought, I would put the butterfly here with the wings going that way so that when you close it, it looks like there's a butterfly on the front as well. I'm not going to worry about the top and the bottom because I'm going to cover that with the blue paper that we've got ready. Okay, so I've inked my stamp, making sure it's well inked, and then just try and centre this in the middle of the back of the card box. There we go. Um, then I was going to try and stamp it again. I never know which side is going to be hitting the paper so I always stamp the whole thing again. And I'll stamp it, let me see how this works, like that. There we go. And then I will stamp it on the other side. Like this. There we go. So hopefully when you close it, it will give the, you the impression that there's a butterfly on there. Okay, so now we are ready to start putting it together. Um, but before we do that, let me first stamp this one. This is a nice um, image. It's a smile from the Happy Day stamp set. Um, I like it because it's nice and big and when you give somebody a present they'll smile, I'm sure, because you've given them something nice. Uh, so there we go. So that's a smile ready to be put on in a moment and so now I can close my ink. And we go on to the double sided tape and I'm going to put it on my flaps at the bottom there. Generally I just cover the whole flap with um, tape. I do it uh, so that it sort of overlaps but that doesn't matter. I can see I pull it off and then I fold it in and then I put another layer on top. Pull that backing off and fold that in. There we go. And then here, same thing. Now before we go any further, I'm going to have to determine where I'm going to put some sticky tape here. So we'll put some tape on the side here. This is just ordinary tape from the pound shop um, and I find it works really well because um, you can tear it, you don't have to um, cut. So now we are going to get rid of these backings. Okay. And you just set this straight onto the scoring line. Then you put this straight together this edge here you line that up really nicely and the same thing here set it down and do it straight up so it's nice and straight and you can't go wrong really if you line those up already then um, that makes it so much easier now my trick for the top is the following I take some ink pads because they're just about the same height. I close my box up at the top and I make sure that these edges here are lined up nicely. I hold my fingers on there and that means these two are now in position. So I'm just going to grab a post-it note 
one handed, always easy of course, and I'm going to put it like that so they stay in that position. So when you close this, this is perfectly aligned. So then I take this backing off and then all I need to do is press down and it's done. Now obviously I have here a bit that sticks out so what I do I fold it back on itself and because there's a bit of sticky on there it stays. You're not going to see that because we are going to put this over. So I've made this I didn't know whether I was going to edge it but I think I will actually no 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 I'm not going to because um, we're going to put the blue paper on there right so we're going to take the blue paper and you cut it in two I have the pieces ready here so you just cut your page in half right then what you do is you need the width the width is six and a half because this is six and a half so you need six and a half and then you're going to score it from one side you're going to score it at one and three eighths when you've done that you line you score the score line and you line it up like this I'll use this for the bottom because I scored it slightly under three and one eighth uh, one and three eighths so you can see that but that's okay and I think we have attached it too soon because we need to, so we'll have to repeat the whole process of putting that thing on, never mind, um, because I needed to measure the, I needed to measure the triangle. So sticky tape. And more sticky tape. And then we take this off, we take this label off as well, it's underneath but that doesn't matter, it'll come off, there we go, and we line that up with this bit here, so you line up the score lines. And then what I did, I just cut along. I just cut along the line with my scissors. If it only would cooperate, that would be great. So I just cut along. And I cut along there. And then I put some more sticky tape so I know where it's going to go because before you don't actually know exactly where it's going to go. There we go. Take the backing off. Okay. If only that would cooperate and press it down and then we'll do the same as we did before. We'll line the top up with the edges at the top and there we go, keep them into place post-it note on there and then push it down and as you push this down you also push the blue bit down see then take out this and push this back there we go so same process for at the top we're going to line this up 
and cut it off. So let's put the sticky tape on. And of course, it doesn't want to come off. There we go. Yep. And the sticky tape here. No. Nope. As usual. I mean, you could cut the blue cover previously, you know, sort of beforehand, but it's easier just to line it up and to um, cut it, and that way you know that you're going to be going to be straight, because otherwise you might end up with uh, with it being a little bit skewed. So there we go, and. I'll just cut along there. It's straight enough, it's okay. You're not going to see that it wasn't... There we go, let me put some of this out of the way because it's getting to me. Right, so more sticky tape to put in between here. Let's take the backing off, the one underneath first, and then this one. Okay, and let's stick it down. There we go. So there we have our box. Now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the smile to the box. Again, same thing. I'll just use sticky tape. I'll attach it first and then cut it off because that way you can centre the words, making sure that they're reasonably in the middle. There's a little edge there on the side, so if you put it from edge to edge, no, that's not smile in the middle. There, I think that is. There we go. So push it down and cut it off. So that's that one. All we need now is a closure, and I had, uh -huh, I have here two magnets. Um, I buy these magnets online. I found a really good supplier, so that's always handy to have, um, and they're quite strong. So I'm going to do my trick from that I did before. Um, put a little bit of sticky tape onto the magnet and I sort of wrap it in sticky tape. Um, these magnets are quite nice. They're flat and they're quite big. They're not quite as big as sort of a, a penny or whatever, but they're, uh, they're a nice size for hiding. Um, I noticed after I ordered these, I've ordered quite a few already, but after I ordered these I noticed that they had them with sticky tape backing, so that's what I'll be getting next time. So, like this. So just put it down. Because there's something to do with plus and minus. Sometimes it stays and sometimes it doesn't. So I think this is okay. I need to go down a bit. Like that. Yeah. So, oh, if only I can't undo it now. So let's stick this down a bit better. <coughs> then do this. And, yeah, that's it. And then we put this on top. There we go. Um, unfortunately, this little image is not a Stamping Up stamp. Um, I wish Stamping Up did do a swallowtail that was a, that was this size. I found this by accident um, in a different uh, craft shop. But I think, what else am I going to put there? So um, I thought that was a good um, image. So I'm going to use that one today. Right, so we just need to stick this down really well. Then this onto there, this stick down this and peel off the backing 
And then on top of that, we're going to put our mini swallowtail. And there you have it. Our box for our cards. And I've put envelopes with them as well. So they all go in here. And I've got a nice present to give to someone who particularly likes butterflies. Thank you for watching. Bye.